Hi, I am Judith Pasca, a modern weaver and a fiber artist, and I am back with a new weaving project. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to weave a coaster using Craft Easy's basic weaving kit. Let's get crafting! To start our coaster, I have already pre-warmed my loom. This will measure around 3.5 to 4 inches. I'll be using this yarn for weaving. And to estimate how much yarn will be needing, I will be using the loom to wrap around at least four times. From here, I will hold on to my length of yarn and remove it from the loom. For me to double the length of the yarn, I will hold it here and pull the yarn all the way through and cut it from here. I will be creating a braid I'll put this loop here and I will need my end of the yarn. I will go under this first warp thread and go through this loop. This is the start of a braided bottom for your weave. So I will open this wide and go through this next warp thread, get the end of the yarn and go through this space. I will repeat these steps until I get to the last warp thread. So as you can see, I'm slowly building these braids and this will be a helpful layer before we start weaving our coaster. You want to leave at least one inch of space from the bottom of your weave and the notches. From here, I will be using this plastic needle to weave because we will be weaving the rest of the yarns that we have cut. I will start by coming from the right side and we will start by going under, over, under each of the thread until we get to the other side. Now I will pull through my needle and straighten these two lines and use this comb to push the line down. Now I will add my second line wherein I will insert this new line opposite to the previous line that I've added earlier. Now I'll be using this new yarn and for me to tuck in my excess yarn in the middle as well, I will be leaving coming from this other side, the opposite of this previous line which is over under over under and over I will stop where my previous line was inserted which is here and then push my needle all the way down and then leave my tail at the back side so what happens here is I let both of my ends lay right beside each other so that later I can tie them together out my space and this is the size of the coaster that I want to finish with. From here, I have uh, not finished the yarn that I've cut and I wanted to leave a few more so I can repeat the steps that I did with the first one where I added these braids. We have finished adding these braids. Remove the weave from the loom. Always start by removing the knot from this first notch that I started with. Then remove the one here on the top as well. And then I will slide off the warp threads from the notches. And now I will start cleaning the excess threads. We will be tying them together since they are right beside each other. Do the same thing with this joint yarn as well. For this very last yarn, we will sew it in using our needle. For the 
warp threads, I will be cutting the loops this way. I will fold it in half so I can cut these yarns shorter and with the same length. And now you have your very own poster that you can use at home or give as a gift to your friends and family. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Craft Easy's YouTube channel and click on the notification bell to stay updated. For more DIY ideas and inspiration, you can visit Craft Easy's website at crafteasyphilippines.com and make sure to follow them on their Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Craft Easy Philippines.